assuming that the New York polls are right, that has Donald Trump up by 31 points. Now, uh, look, I would assume he's going to get the majority of delegates in New York. Yeah. Fair assumption, right? Yeah. Then, then it almost becomes mathematically impossible for Ted Cruz to get to 1237. And that well, means it is right now for Ted. Well, it's about 80. It it's about 85 or 86 percent. Right. You'd have to get 86 right. percent of remaining delegates. And that's not going to happen. Right. All right. That's so right. so so Ted Cruz's entire strategy now is to win on a at, at a contested convention. Correct. And Correct. Now, now let's say let's go through a scenario where Donald Trump and I'll just use proportional numbers here. Let's say that he ends up with uh, 1150 his total number. Let's say Ted Cruz has anywhere between 850 and 900. What mm -hmm. happens when we get to the convention? Well, the, the, under that scenario, if Donald Trump is sitting at around 1150 and needs 12, uh, 37, 37 right. um, then, you know, you, you're looking at somewhere around a 70 some percent, 80 some percent, um, uh, 80 per, uh, delegate shortfall. I think Donald Trump has a good argument to make to the, the broader convention. Give me the 80 delegates I need, 87 delegates I need. Uh, to do this. Anything 100 or less or fewer delegates for, for Donald Trump, it will be very hard, Sean, for anyone to make a, a serious argument that he should be denied the nomination. What if it's 1,100? If now, yes. Now, if he's, if he's over 100, if it's 137 away, it's an easy, a slightly easier argument to make. But here's the point. Nothing is going – people are acting like this is going to be a static process between the last primary in California in June and the, and the convention in July. Um, the reality of it is Donald Trump, as probably Ted Cruz, are going to be working to make up any shortfall in delegates, particularly those unbound delegates I was just talking about. If Donald Trump is, in my projections right now, based on the numbers we're, we're seeing over uh, at our network, is Donald Trump is going to be anywhere between 40 and 60 votes delegates short of what he needs by the time this whole thing is done. He can go into that pool of unbound delegates and find 60 delegates real easy. That's not going to be hard for him to, to do. But once you get over 100, you get 150 short, 200 absolutely. Then, it, then you're talking about a second ballot strategy that he's going to have to have in place in order to pull those delegates that he needs to first off close that gap, then maybe cut it in half, and then get the nomination on the third, fourth ballot at the latest. But he's still in play. Everyone's trying to place this, paint this picture, Sean, that oh my God, if he doesn't win it on the first ballot, he's done. That's just total bogus crazy because. He will have a floor strategy. He's got Paul Manafort, who's an expert at this. He's been in the middle of these big fights in the past. Um, he knows how to pull together that strategy. He's, he's got direct access to, to Trump. So I, I think there's a lot of wish, wishful thinking by a lot of folks here in Washington in the establishment that, um, you know, we, we'll catch them on the floor at the convention.